Let's keep Me the too. show rolling. <laughs> do we get? Do we roll rewards? The show must go on. Do we roll rewards because we survived and we got no, to the town? We are not there. We're not the a diamond. safe haven. <laughs> okay. We are uh, still on the haven. run. We still have to there worry is about. There's no goddamn uh, safe the haven. Box. And still, no, we still have to worry about deep, being so. ambushed. We still have, like, there's no safe haven yet. We're abandoning this camp. We picked up everything man. we could, and we're still going. Hey, this is this is war. This is this is In war. A way, this all. is war. This is like town will be ravaged. <laughs> no, this is. This isn't just war. This is war bands all over again. It's well, like we on keep the running. Run, yeah, we... just uh, no, we're not. We have a safe haven. It's just that we need to we're get so. That's so far away that we have to. Go, but we have to backtrack all the way back there. Yeah, through just, uh, you must go yeah. back to go forward. I think that's uh, one of the morals here. Uh, well, so we must travel to the far south. Incursion chance? Yes. So we are going to find incursion. How far along the journey? Halfway there. So we're going to be halfway <laughs> into the. We're going to be what in the forest region? Yeah, we're going to be, like, on the border of the forest region. That's where we get ambushed. Well, so close to the end. So, okay, so we have time. Are we going to be talking while we're, like, are we talking about anything as we're being, so we're trundling along as a pack? I think I would start a marching song. Okay, so I'm a marching song to would Oso, so. <laughs> I don't Focus know. Focus all on the area care. we are. I don't know, I don't care. I don't know how that now, song I don't goes. know, but I've been told. Okay. <laughs> Do you know that song? Not no. much no. of it. I don't know either. Annabelle doesn't know it. You don't know any songs? She, she's just making it up on the fly. Say what? She's, she's just making, making it up, up on the fly. Oh, she's making it up on the fly. I don't know what I've been told. So what have you been told? So, whereas like trundling along and he hears it, and it's like, what you've been told? <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it's it's a song. So, it's like, and then he just he does a shrug, and the like Dayus and Dogmar lift it a little bit, and then back down. <laughs> so like, and then he just keeps trundling along. Hold on, I think so, I got some. Worst possible thing. Oh. The necromancer himself comes out of nowhere. No. No, it would, that be, would be the worst possible thing. No, it would be too. E it would be too easy if it was him, because then we'd kill him, and then the storyline ends there. Not if it's indomitable. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that would fuck us up. Yep. That would definitely fuck <laughs> us up. We just die. Don't, don't give trick ammunition. Yeah, don't give me things to shoot at you. <laughs> oh shit. That's bad. Okay, so he's a five by five. So he's a big bastard. <laughs> oh. The way like, here, that's I've far been enough. To Oso, so. <laughs> so, hold on. Do I recognize what it is? Remember, <laughs> does anyone recognize? No, actually, no. since not. So you've never seen it before. That's way too. Howdy there. Well, no, you recognize the occult like almost immediately. It's like so, this giant muscle-bound creature with sword and shield. It's got a beholder shield. So it's like, uh, and you feel Sign like you. you're just looking at it is painful. Because you feel like your magic energy is getting sucked out of you. Mm, so try not to look. <laughs> so you guys all, do you guys, you all immediately leap off. Yep. So and you're about guns, ready. Where at up front? So, so you guys just get and in like a heroic way. You all gather wait, at the wait, front. <laughs> oh wait. wait. Oh. Also, we're still bro breaking down. So. Oh, can she? Or yeah, is she is. So fixed. she's not there. So also still in a breakdown. So the rest oh, of us like dogma there, and then so. leap off. So you're gonna stay with Elsa? He's gonna watch now. over. I've no, watch I over haven't Elsa. noticed it yet. Okay, you haven't noticed it. All right, so so right, the rest so of us said... are like we're in the heroic line in the front. The orcs are gonna reline to face this new threat. Did it say anything? Yeah, he said that's said far that's... enough. What does it want? So, are you another one of our friend's minions? It's like, I am no one's minion. Oh, that's, that's what they good. all they say. All... It's like, uh, and then he, like, it's a deep, roaring laughter. <laughs> uh, 
This will be fun. Settle, then. It's been, you know, it's Settle, been a while since I've killed your kind. Did I kill the white? Did, like, uh, how nice of you to bring so many things for me to slay. Did, did you just want to kill us? It's, it's like, uh, and he kind of shrugs, it's like, of course, what else is there but war and death? I know a lot of things. Peace? It's like he does a snort, and it's like, <laughs> peace. peace. Peace is a lie. Peace There's is just the precursor passion. for more war. Peace is a lie. lie. There's only passion. Sith confirm. Look at that red skin. <laughs> I say, what are you, a nihilist? <laughs> it's like, no, I'm simply thinking of easier things to do. So he, like, he's got a massive sword and he just points it at all of you. It's like, uh, it's like, you're right. I may have a master. None that you would know. Is it the necromancer? It's like, uh, so he immediately says, he shakes his head, it's like, ha, if only it were that easy, right? I see into your thoughts, into your minds. I know who you seek. And I'm Do here to tell you that him? your adventure ends here. Oh, great. They didn't say you're all of this. <laughs> so he, he lets out, like, a, a blood-curdling roar. And, ooh, that's the worst possible outcome. Oh, God. So, let's see. You sure you want to die right now? <laughs> so, large mass. So, is it like a full squad? No, it's not a full squad. Uh, not a half squad, so it's a, it's a little bit more. So, he, he like, two more of these giant beasts come out. God fucking damn it. So, are they indomitable? Of course they would be. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? They're... Okay, what is their archetype? What are, well, right, hold on. What is Warm their alignment? Class. What is their alignment type? Well, they're uh, uh, it's pretty it's pretty obvious they're unholy. Okay, good. So holy Wait a minute, guys, do more I'm damage. Armor class. They are wearing mostly cloth. That's their skin that's harder. So they're resistant uh, to magic because they're because they're, they're because sucking out your magical cloth. force. Their skin is also boats, cloth. Boats cloth. Yeah. They have a lot of um. It's cloth, so magic won't work on them. The thing that will work on them uh, is slash. It. Woo! Who has slash amongst Me. us? Me. Me. Okay, good. Dogma. Dogma's got slash too, that's so right. So they're like, they're breathing, you see slash. saliva and shit just going down their mouths. Ew. Ew. Wait, isn't slash for light? Not, not cloth. Not cloth. Oh, cloth, is, cloth is weak against everything, except magic. I mean... So cloth... Let's go into the information page and see uh, what that means. So, bonus versus cloth is, um... Yeah, this damage type list, so slash is good against light, not cloth. Cloth is weaker against everything. Alright. Wait, double Wait, damage double from everything, or is it just weak in general? Uh, it's just, uh, it's basic damage from everything except spells. Uh, oh, so if I shoot, yeah. like, my bullets... If you shoot spells, hurt. it'll do nothing to them. So, if actually, shoot... holy rounds would do nothing. You just do Gosh. ballistics damage, which is the impact. You wouldn't do the the, holy, the, it does the round nothing. damage. But again, they're unholy, so when you break their armor, you might be able to hurt them. Fucking. <laughs> Plus, indomitable. They're not going to be killed by by insta by heroic attacks. If we break their armor, can we break their indo? <laughs> D100, see if you can... It's like, is that a theory that'll hold? No. No. They have so balls yes, of steel! So it's a yes or no thing. If, uh... Plus they got those frickin' shields. So that they're just like, um, at us. He's not even making a proclamation. Like, they're going straight into a charge. Sigh. So he's like, he's roaring, and then he doesn't even stop the roar. He just goes straight into a charge. God fucking damn it. Brace! Do they brace? Yes. Do they take casualties? Yes. Fatal? No. So they're like, they take the charge and they're stunned. Not stunned, but I mean, they're... Let's see. So, D3, so... So they're just dazed. They got lucky. So they take dazed. the charge and it, they take some force to stop them. But, I mean, they're, they're fine. 
no casualties. So like they they kind of move out of the way of the giant sword swings. Plus, remember swords. What is sword what is... damage? Flash. Excuse me, retaliate. So they can take it on their shields without getting hurt, despite their size. <laughs> Alright, guys. Do we need retaliate. Uh, retaliation damage. Yes. Not lethal, so they're just gonna do straight damage. So now they can use repost, <laughs> which they <laughs> failed at. Actually, it's a advantage, so there's more of us. So let's try a second one. Still fail. Third one. There's three of them. So. Hmm? No, it's just uh, uh, uh no, it's repost. It's, we take the higher of the two rolls, but both rolls failed. Okay. So there's no reposts. <sighs> All right. Just to let uh, you guys what about know. the berserkers? The, bo the berserkers also have repost, but again, no re no repost. So we just take the charge. Well, at least none of us died in the initial assault, so now it's up to the we are they going later to on. Use, but they're not done yet. They're going to go for shield bashes. So he's going to try to knock them aside. No, <laughs> nothing. Yes, he does no damage, but that's a counterattack also. <laughs> so right. that's a right second. Post. That's a repo. Do you want to repost or do you want to attack? Attack. attack. That's what repost is. Oh, wait. No, the repost is attack. Do you want to repost or do you want to brace? Repost. Okay, so obviously repost. So still fail. That's a. Well, there's spear so numbers. Advantage so. again? Yeah. Uh, no, we can't because that's a that's one that's one. It's a direct impact from one attack, so it's a one for one. Okay. okay. No advantage on that. So second shield bash. That one's a hit for seven. That's a stuns. But they see. can uh, defend. Worse, right? they, have they have wide defense. sweeping attacks, so everything next to them is what gets hit <laughs> if it's enemy. So but he's sweeping defenses. the. Wait, let me let defenses. me show you. So he's sweeping yeah, a shield like this way across multiple enemies. Yeah, but what about our defenses? We're linked. Yeah, we that's have what we're doing. That's what numbers. we're doing. Okay. So I get to roll two each, and Both we get to roll each. advantage because we have numbers. Yeah. So we we'll take the higher we'll take the two, the... which is both defenses. So he can easily block four of them. Shield damage? Right. No. So our shields are pretty strong for some reason. Like they're made of very heavy metal, and our artisans are pretty good. So their shields take a massive impact, and none of them are really felled. Okay, but there's still one more shield bash. I mean, it's uh, yeah, but still, still it's two more defenses. defenses so it's the berserkers are able to just dodge out of the way. All right. No so fucks given. So yeah, we're going further. No, so those are the the major two attacks unless we go further. All right, so do the roll their initiative. Reroll initiative. Okay. No, I'm rolling there now. Well, do you want to reroll initiative, or are you oh, happy okay. with those numbers? No. 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 We're keeping okay. this one. So we just did the War Devil. So we're on uh, Annabelle. Annabelle. I yell, archers, fire. Okay. They're going to fire, they're going to hit, it is not fatal. Is it damaging at least? Yes. That's 90 damage. How much? 90% no, damage. It's, um, that's just the damage chance, then damage type is... Uh, so we shred, we start to shred some of their armor, because I mean, like, they're doing focused fire. Alright. Who are they hitting? So, do a d3. That's your choice. Okay, so still, uh, I think we were going to hit target number one. What do you think? <laughs> target number one. No, target. someone else. Okay, point seven two. So you shred this much armor off him. So it's like, and this is a volley of arrows. This is like how many people shooting arrows? Is his shield 16, gone? Sixteen. And it's, a, it's a mass. It's multi volley, so they're just firing massive amounts of arrows into this guy. Is his shield broken? Oh wait, no, he's no, still he got it. No, he hasn't broken his armor yet. Okay. Okay, so Annabelle, you're still up. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Before, under uh... Yeah, charge and attack. Okay. You really want to get close to this thing? This thing is crazy. Yep. Eighty, <laughs> times, eighty times two. Eighty it's times slash. two. So that's uh. One sixty. One sixty, and the stun chance. Let's see. He's got indomitable foes have one extra thing, which is they have the remember they have the defensive D one hundred for status effects. Besides their standard defenses. 
So let's see. Let's so well, first we got to roll their standard defenses. So these are big monsters. They have a standard defense of three. If they roll at disadvantage, because we have numerical, so we choose the lower the lesser number. of the two, so I have to roll one more. Okay, so so, yeah. so they have so no two damage, defenses at least. Them. No damage, but yeah. Yeah, no damage, so but you, um, might stun you take one of their defenses. No wait, no, he's uh, yeah, you do you do no damage, but it takes it takes two defenses. I have to do that correctly because the stun. Plus the crit. Yeah, you could swing again and he yeah, won't be able to defend more time. it. Or whatever you want to do. Let's okay, so see. Swing a second oh, time. That's crits. a crit for 40. So that's uh, that's that's just 80. Oh, no, it's uh, 160, right? Yeah, 160. Yeah. It's got a lot of armor. Like, your swing is just... It's, it's like a drop in the ocean. Alright, Grimmall, you're up. Let me check something real quick. Uh, where's my character? So where are you slashing? Are you like slashing it at his ankles or something? <laughs> so his feet. I think I'm like hitting him in the shield over and over again, and it's okay. like I'm just trying to like cut it You're off. You're just trying to cut the shield, away. the shield away. Yeah. <clears> hmm. <throat> All right then. Wait, For do they count as information? Even though they're not connected. No, that's why his defenses were separate, and he rolled disadvantage. Well, he only got... Oh, he did get two, didn't he? He's got three defenses. So you ate, you ate through the two, and now he's defenseless. Okay. Got the orcs attack. Yeah. Oh yeah, so uh, probably we should have the orcs try to smash yeah, his face. Yeah, roll for the orcs So let's do so. <laughs> okay, and, uh, we're gonna take... Let's see, are we taking Second the higher one. of the two damages? No, we're taking the, the more accurate strike. So yeah. 29 each, so that's... Impact does not do... Impact does not have the bonus. It's only slash and pierce. Impact does not do bonus unless it's against heavy foes. Because you got to think about or... it. It's cloth versus... Uh, cloth it's... versus like a hammer. Yeah, yeah. that's not... Kind of strange. i got to do much. <laughs> they still have other stuff, don't they? Oh wait, yeah, that's their only thing. That's advantage, so they have four. So that's minus 116 armor. And the other orcs, the berserkers, the, and the barbarian, other orcs. the berserkers, and oh, the other. Oh, you want computers. them to engage? All right, so they, Why not? they're all going to do minus 29. So that's five hammer. But they have their defenses still. So you're just trying to wear them out. Yeah. Okay, so Why defenses not? three. Take a got to roll it. Oh, that's crit fail. Oh. So no they are defense. They are rendered, no they are rendered defenseless. So that is twenty-nine times five, because there's five of them. So they're just going to do straight damage. Then the berserkers. <laughs> Wait, does does the fact that it's defenseless now get rid of its indom? No. <laughs> it's just it's for the turn. But it's completely defenseless. It's not completely defense. All right, roll it. D one hundred. You really wanted to like rip his indom off of him, all right? So it ripped his indom off of him, at least for a time. So like one turn at most. For one turn, yeah, so one you turn. have only two opportunities: Whereat and Sains, to try and kill it before it gets its guard back up. And Grim Maul. So and Grim Maul. So defenses, they're both defenseless. So roll another D100. Are they both? They're both their guards dropped. Yes. <laughs> so you have two open targets. Because, I mean, like, they expected that their assault would be a... Their assault would be a shock assault. That they would just break your lines and kill you all. But apparently that didn't happen. Yep. So, Berserkers are have a variety of attacks. Actually, not really. So, they just have Pummel. So, they're going to beat them for 31 damage each. So, that's... Four times target. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that, too. <laughs> so, Four times, times 31. Four. It's all impact, so it's my... And then times three. So 372. Let's see, orcs. They're on the offensive. They're going to be pushing more units around them. They can't attack. They have to get in position first. So the, like, those three berserkers are going to move to the side. We had enough of this bullshit, yeah. son. And no, it's just, uh, you know, they, they rally and see that, you know, these things aren't invincible. You can kill them. Can't the shamans do anything from back no, there? No, they don't. Their magic's being stymied by these creatures. 
Oh, Do is you bleed? It? You oh. will. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what about these defenders over here? So these defenders are all moving back into... No, I the already ones used those here. ones. You did? Yeah. These ones? Yeah. Okay. So they're moving into formation around them. It's like, you know, they can be beaten. They can be fell back. They yeah. can be beaten. Grimwall, it's up to you. You're not at a vantage point. You need a, might want to get back in one. Probably shouldn't have jumped off. I mean, I think you were better off when you were on the thing. Because <laughs> you have something called a gun. <laughs> no? Where are you? Where are you going? Okay, your mic cut out. Oh, I sh I'm shuffling onto where we're at. Okay, that, so that do so. How far was that? Weren't you like a little bit to over here? Was I? Yeah, I don't know. Anybody? Uh, any ex <laughs> yeah, I think I, he was. I was here. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. Uh, so, all right, so you can thank Annabelle for that. Let's see. D100, can you actually, do you have enough time to just do that without couldn't I just, worry about it? Couldn't I just charge onto where we're at? Yeah, you can charge and fire. So. Yeah, so I'm charging onto where we're at. And I'm going to D100. So you're going for, uh, you're, so while his guard is down, you're trying to go for a heroic attack. Yeah. That's a hit. Lethal. Fatal. No. Yeah. So, so how much damage? Where are you shooting it? Um, like you see in the mouth. So I'm yeah, like so shooting, shooting it. You're shooting it in its mouth. Yeah. So that's thirty percent damage. To okay. its... So D100 is a bypass armor or not? Yep, bypass yeah, armor. Bypass armor. So it'll do thirty percent of damage to his health directly. So that's what. <laughs> he really bit the bullet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he he like you shoot him in the mouth and he got the, he has the bullet in there, and then he just like spits like it hits the back and he you well, see on, he isn't it cough holy... out blood but then he hold just on. spits out the bullet. Isn't it holy damage? So it bypasses armor, so it hit him. The holy damage hit him straight into for double. His... Yeah, so... yeah, for that's sixty percent then, right? <laughs> yeah, so it's minus another nine hundred. So he's like at that. Nine hundred. What the hell are yeah. these things? <laughs> no, it's um. They're, they're demons, or, or... I don't know, actually, I really am not sure. <laughs> I, you'll have I to figure that to write, one out. Yeah, you'll figure that one out. I'll write down the bio for him later on, but eh, let's we'll see now. worry about it. Either way. Well, the first shot... So, he shot, shot him, he's like, he takes the holy bullet, and then he coughs out blood, but then he just spits out the bullet. Does he re-raise his guard? No. So he's, like, disoriented. <laughs> yeah. But he does know where the shot came from, so he might barge everything aside just to get to you. Oh. Yeah, well, still has a second yeah, shot. He's still a second yeah. shot. So he's like staring right at you. Is his eye out? His shield eye. Huh? Is, is his eye, eye out? What do you mean? Like, is he like looking at? Because you said he's looking at me, but his helmet. They yeah, he's got a helmet like on, covered. but his his face is directed towards you, looking at you. Okay, that's a hit. Okay. Lethal. Lethal. Not lethal. No. Damage. Damage. How much percent? <laughs> the rest of his health. So yeah, he's it's like, like he it's not up. lethal, but you do enough damage to him to hurt him. Oh, like, like you can't he, kill him, but you bring him really low. He like he looks up, it, like yeah. his helmet. He looks moves up back. and he's looking at you, his and then you just take like, another shot. His, he looks up, his helmet moves back slightly because from like rearing his head up, his helmet moves up slightly, showing his eye. Bang! Shoot him right in the eye, and that uh, just takes not a crippling shot. He's still got another eye. Yeah, I know. Still though, that's one eye I can take out. So but how much? Um, his guard is uh, still not raised, and he's not, like, but he's not going, he can't attack, let's see, can he, can he still attack? Yeah, he can still attack, he, even though he's, like, crippled, he's not about to just go, roll over and die. Alright, well, uh, I took out the rest Do of the Do you house. surrender? Yeah. <laughs> Whereat's gonna, um, what is Whereat gonna do? Walk up to him. <laughs> I'm probably like, just gonna go, I can't hit him because he's still got his armor up. Oh, right. Doesn't can he athletics him and hope that it bypasses armor to bypass Give it defenses? A shot. So yeah. athletics bypass defense. <laughs> yep. So there you go. So charge in. armor. I'm like I'm pointing Lethal? to I'm pointing. Of course it is. I'm like point, nice. pointing where at I'm like where at charge and we go in. Finish. I know what to do, stupid man. <laughs> and I just yeah. run past Shut him up and, and get just in run there, then. <laughs> It's like where at knows what he's doing so. He charges in, and he like grabs a leg and he pulls it so that it falls further to the ground. 
Awesome. Oh wait, can we double team this, or is it just you? D100. Can you do you want to double team this? Yeah, we can so, double team it. <laughs> so like, uh, I'm pulling its leg to the ground, and then it's falling. Do you just like take a shot at its head while it's falling? No, he puts the what? gun in its mouth and yeah. fires. I don't know. Yeah. So what no, exactly are you doing? Because it's falling now. So it's falling. It's like head is coming up. I'm gonna pull out the knife, and okay. is this is it's is, is its other eye shown? D100. What? No. Oh uh, no. So. So you got your knife. You have rifle in one hand, knife in the other. So. Gonna stab the knife into like its uh, jaw. Pull out, put the rifle sh just, like, as deep as I can into like. So you just head. like bear it. And so you're like jumping at it and sticking your knife in its lower jaw and then sticking the rifle in there. Yeah, and then bang! Just watch yeah. its brains and helmet fly off. Yeah. So it takes the shot and it's still not like flinching. Flinching. So it takes. You're gonna have to pull the trigger a couple more times. All right, so that was six. So, so let's another see. shot. Two shots? No. Three shots? No. It takes it like four rounds before it stops moving. So you pull the trigger, it doesn't stop moving, and it's still screaming at you. And then you just pull the trigger three more times until there's nothing left of the back of its head. <laughs> there we go. So you're gonna D100. Let's see if you land accurately. You do. Yep. Land, so, land on where so, I'm back. So and I, I catch you, and I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna backpedal. I'm not gonna. Or do you want us to press the assault? Yeah, we can charge this guy. All right, it's your funeral. Well, it's both of our funerals. So I, I can't really because I just did a charge in an athletics, so I can't do another move. Isn't athletics to, all right? Um, you when can. Be part of the charge? So if I tried to charge the next foe, I'd have no actions. Hmm. But isn't a... isn't an athletics isn't a... a movement already? No. Isn't it? Because it's like you're athletics moving is around. moving through units. Yeah, you're moving through these guys into this guy, isn't no, it? No, I'm. I do a charge and then I athletics at close range. Oh. So I can't. Well, I can't you, athletics to on, get if there it's, and if then it's moving kill through it. Units, couldn't you use athletics to move through this guy to the other guy, charging through him? No, because <laughs> he's already dead. Okay, then go it's back. It's gotta be, and it's he's not a. It's you can't use it because that would involve rolling it twice. I have to use one to move through it, and then I have to use another one to kill it. All right then. So advisable, back. we we retreat. Backpedal, yeah, backpedal. So to the back <laughs> and plus <laughs> link the and plus link the defenses that way. So yeah. yeah Lay, sure. Sand, this is all you now. So. Does this scare them in any way? Does it? They just lost one of their number so quickly. <laughs> uh no, they're not. Just, uh, they're they're war beasts. They don't want to. They fight to the end. So the only way to stop them is to kill them. They won't stop fighting until either you or they are dead. Alright, guess we know what we're doing tonight. And devils. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> well, we got a half an hour to figure that out. Or 40 minutes to figure that out, so let's pick up Indeed. the pace, people. Yeah. Since here is all the ruckus, even though he was focused on Oso before, and then he hears all of that, he kind of gets pissed about it. Okay. You have a bow, you can try and. Yeah, but long shot. He's oh yeah, about focus. It. He can hit this guy. Yeah, he's got no defenses. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's a, no, that, that's an accurate shot. So actually, no, that's that's for lethal damage because you bypass defense plus you don't he miss, beats. and then that's lethal damage. <laughs> so right. you just like, I'm so just you know, pissed. you see what's happening, you see all the battle happening, and then you just get a calm focus, and you just you do what you have to do. So what you is draw it you have boom, to do? It's like you draw <laughs> back your bow really I just really draw hard. back, yeah. Well. <laughs> so you draw back your bow, you sight down it, and then you just let fly. Yep. Let's see, the... The arrow is not imbued with magic, so it's just a straight arrow. It is. So... <laughs> so you hit at a point where you thought its brain was, and sure enough, that's where it was. Did it flip mm. back? So... It's like uh, it arrows. went through his helmet too, so you pulled it back <laughs> enough where it actually the both the combination of the elven oh, the elven bow, yeah. which causes it Does to corkscrew screw. through armor and drill through the armor, plus your strength, and you simply pulled it back far and you went straight through the metal of his helmet because their helmet metal is only bronze; it's not <laughs> not the heaviest armor. 
Uh, well, you oh. shot him straight through there, so yeah. See, through his eye? Yes. <laughs> so it goes through his eye, drills into his brain, and then it comes out the other side. And then he just falls over with a crash. And then flies off into the distance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a... Okay, what about the what? third one? Again, they're not going to just stop. They're going to keep going until. By the way, this was the. You can't D100 the, that one. Yeah. His defenses are still up. But I, this, this one was the bypass yeah. defense. Okay. That was to see if it was lethal. Well, D1, oh. you have to do another D100 because this one's got Indom. Yeah. Well, so yeah, so you go by that. So even though he's got a shield raised, like, so like he sees the arrow coming and he raises a shield, but it goes oh, to the go shield. <laughs> Oh, it goes through the eye and the shield yeah. and just... It, it goes through, like, the pupil. Well, yeah, he's got a shield raised and it goes through the pupil of the shield and it, like, pierces his heart. Like, it goes through that, through this chest plate, through his body and just tears his heart out. And you're too late, but darling, you give love. So, uh, that's not the worst part, though. So, they're all on the ground, but each of you do a D100. So, Miss, Miss, Annabelle, you're able to get out of the way. Um, oh, Annabelle, you're the only one where really I, in wait, danger. Where I have to so, do one, too. Where oh, I yeah, where's going to do one. So, so no. Oh. So, the rest of you can't move. Annabelle, you'll have a chance because uh, you start noticing these things are starting to glow odd colors. The their their bodies are dead, and you see that they're starting to glow. Run! So, uh... Like, the orcs <laughs> are holding their shields up, they're not moving. So, you're gonna haul ass. Do we haul ass after she tells us to haul ass? See, or well, do we not have a check? Do we obey that command? Oh, no. No, no Grimal <laughs> doesn't. Because we're, we're kind of just ecstatic that we just killed the thing. I'm in squirrel. Yeah. So, so, damage? Squirrel no. So, no everybody, damage. so all the orcs immediately just brace, and then these things explode. Is it gore and guts? Uh, no. It's like, uh, the whole body starts glowing and then it explodes in like a massive fireball. Okay, now for the important question. Is there any war gear left? <sighs> uh, some. <laughs> like, uh, a few, moving. but it's mostly broken. I mean, like, the metal is warped the hell because the whole, the body just burned. So all okay, the bodies all just incinerate. Like every, all three bodies just incinerate. Yeah, actually, we can see. bring Wounds? it. No, I'm yes. saying, I'm saying we could bring it to the smith in the back. So like they survived the fire, but the ones on the front line, half of them are badly burned. I mean, like, because they're wearing metal and then they get superheated, so they're burned on the inside. So yeah, Annabelle, Annabelle, do your thing. Yeah. Do a D100. Does to, uh, so do a D100 do to a D100. see if you can heal the. Uh, no, you can't heal the burned ones. Because um, these like wounds the aren't these wounds aren't natural. These are this is magical fire. Could I heal? Could I heal? Oh no! Oh, no, don't have healing. <laughs> no, I mean with with ice. No, you don't have mastery over your powers unless you want to take the risk. That's it's like do you have a guaranteed wants. chance of healing, or would you rather just try uh try to heal with a chance of failure? No, man, then. How much health do these guys have? I can't tell you that. <laughs> a ton, probably. <laughs> I can't tell you either. Because I mean, you didn't I'm do the research. research. No one did the research. The... Uh, let's see, did Dr. Seven oh, do the, the research? No, Dr. Seven doesn't care. I was talking about the orcs. The orcs. Okay, so what are you trying to recover exactly? Uh, uh, anything, they have two really. things. They have the massive sword and then they have the shield. Is there anything left of the sh of the sword? Not the, uh, is there anything like left of the sword? Uh, bits and pieces. You can salvage right. the metal, but I mean, there's not much besides that. All right, the metal is good Let's enough. See. I can bring and it back. And the, the metal, there's a good chance it's corrupted by unholy magic. Oh. So let's see. Same with the I shield. The shield, shield, not so much. Oh. oh. Would I be able to attempt to clean it? The cleanse hold on. The shield. Uh, Annabelle, what about the shield? Hold on, so what about you the can shield? attempt to cleanse it. Like you can give Annabelle the metal, and she might be able to cleanse it. Well, hold on, you said something about the shield. What's with the shield? Uh, the shield is. Uh, it looks like it's not corrupted, but again, let's see. It's a. Uh, it's relatively intact compared to everything else. So for one of them is missing their eye. Okay. Yeah. Um. Pick up the one who well, that's missing its eye. 
No, the, the one you're next to is the one ring who's ring. got his heart ripped out by the arrow. Yeah, I know. I'm picking up the shield, the shield that lost its eye. Okay, yeah, because you that's... drilled a hole through it. So it's relatively intact, except for the giant hole carved through it by Sans's arrow. Yeah, I could. We could deconstruct the shield. We could deconstruct the metal, give it to the smithy, and maybe he could do something yeah, with it. Yeah, maybe he can do something with it. So you're taking that with you. This thing is huge, though. Are you even sure you can carry it? Two hundred. I'm rolling it. Who says I have to carry it? Yeah. Well, D100, like, can you even... This thing is massive, like, it's more than you can carry or roll. This thing would flatten hey, you at? if you tried to roll it. Where at? Get over here. Help me with this. So, where at immediately comes over, like, he'll carry it for you. He just puts it on his back. But it's like, even it's he like... feels the weight. It's like, ugh, heavy trinkets. <laughs> I come behind what him and I take? help him. <laughs> We're gonna give it to the smithy. We're gonna make something ugh, out of it. Fine. It's it's dungeoneering one oh one oh one. Remember that. What dungeoneering? <laughs> Just shut up and let's go. Okay, so it's like uh fair. Fair enough. <laughs> but hey, we got through that. No casualties. Um, no um, death. So we have a problem though. Oh that some of the orcs are we need to keep moving and some of the orcs are like the ones that I have separated off are the ones who are badly burned. Some of them are oh, going to have a hard time marching, so we might slow nice. down. Can I, like, use my life force to just grab all the burns onto myself and then be on Squirtle? Okay, you just tried that and it didn't work. Or what did you try, actually? To heal them without, like, affecting myself. Okay, well, it didn't work like that, so you might have to either sacrifice HP, guaranteed sacrifice, or try and take the burns from them. So you can't heal them with no casualty. You have to heal them, and you will lose out. Prepare for someone to be covered with burns. So take your pick. I guess losing health would be the better option. Okay, so... Go about it. Alright, so... Do another D100. How much health are you going to lose? And eh, not too much. 20%. <laughs> so, what's 20%? That's like 6, minus 6. So, and you can't heal this immediately because you're healing magical wounds. Are they fit enough to, like, march? Hell yeah. <laughs> They're a lot better. Uh, yeah, so, like, even, better. like, um, they even offer to, like, carry you. Just, uh, because you keep healing them. You keep, uh... But, so you're just gonna, to say, you're gonna deny it and just say, I'm I'm transport. Yeah. Okay, so... Sort of like it's like, and then they just kind of do a nod of respect, and they get back in formation. And while Dogman Squirtle's them. like, yep. So Dogman and them are gonna ride again. Weren't they riding on Werrat? Oh yeah, they were. Yeah. Sorry. So they, they have but to get no, back on yeah, Werrat. So Brimall's no. gonna go back up there on uh, Squirtle. Yeah, so. we got the shield to the we got the shield to the guy, right? Yeah. Uh, what about the other two? Let's see. Is there anything recoverable? No. That was it. Just uh, the shield and the sword were all that. So you have the the metal, which is corrupted, and you have the shield. But the rest are just piles of burnt body. Like it's basically a giant puddle of dark blood on the ground, and uh, a smoking crater. I wonder who they worked for. Okay. So and then. Well, does it matter? Yeah. So what Doesn't is matter yeah, we, at this point? We could have just pissed so off the pack leader. Is like, all right, pack in formation, move on. All right, so, so we're gonna have to go around marching. the crater. So, so where oh. at is gonna lead the way, but he is extremely cautious with this. Like he's like he's a bit shaken from it's like these things were much larger than I. Hey, don't worry about yeah. it. We killed them. It's so easy. Come on, where at? It's like not easy, risky, nearly killed. Chris? Not all monsters hey, look, fall. Look around you. Do you see any of us dead? We've done a lot better than we did against it's the like, undead. Uh, and it's like, what happened when that changed? What happened what when happened they that... stronger? What happens when they're stronger is we start to lose some people. But we managed. So it's like he's he's a bit grimmer than he was. 
So he's going to lead on, like... but I mean, he's definitely, you definitely see that he's being more cautious now. So we have to go around the, know, um, we have to go around the craters of the dead. On the head and say, arrogance is the quickest path to death. Okay. Arrogant, arrogant only when it's unjustified. We've All gone through arrogance this. is unjustified. There is always something bigger than you. Yep. So, well, that's just that's, so it's uh, bigger. Does it... Annabelle's opinion? Just... Are you guys gonna have another be... debate as we're trundling along? Just because it's bigger doesn't mean we I'm can't just gonna kill go for it. Oh, so. Yeah, but I meant like, <laughs> are we gonna have like it's gonna be another theological debate between Annabelle and Grimal as we march hundreds of miles. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think know. that's what okay, happens. So that's what's gonna happen. So he yeah. basically sets you off, and Whereat's just looking at you. It's like, ugh. Adventurous. <laughs> Look at yourself, buddy. <laughs> it's like me, Whereat. Me, no adventurer. Stop antagonizing Whereat. <laughs> I'm not trying to antagonize him. Look. Fine, I'll shut up. <sighs> okay, so. You're still going to face... Well, you're going to face something that you're not going to like. <clears throat> so, you are moving along. And you start, seeing, you start seeing... You start seeing worse sights than before. There's like dead babies. Yeah, pretty much. Women, children, aborigines. Just as you're walking along, you're seeing, like, the dead. And it looks like the whole... It looks like tribes have just been... Entire tribes in this area have just been slaughtered. Oh shit! Do a D one hundred. Let's see if you find anybody alive, or is it just is it just the field? Of, it's what? just the field of dead. So Hold on, you see a couple control. nomad protectors among them, uh, among the dead. Doesn't Saints have a role or where nope. too? I'm focused on Oso. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have focused on Oso. You what guys about don't see anybody alive. Just all you see is about, the dead. What about Whereat? Doesn't where have a role? Yeah. And Dogma and Dayusa. So... So we're not gonna use dogma right now. <laughs> but yeah, oh, we'll just try it. So dogma senses somebody though. So although there's no none of no one among the dead, he just says keep moving forward. So do we just do that? We just keep moving forward. Yeah, just keep yeah, moving. Just... Okay, so yeah. bodies of the dead, the and as we're walking further down, we just see more. We just see like whole this. You know, we were just here like a few days ago. Oh and shit! These are the same like uh, D100. Do you guys recognize if these are the same people? Yeah. Immediately. I mean, like you see, you know, you were talking to some of these aborigines, like you and Grimmall. This is probably going to hit you the hardest. You see the child that gave you the map, and he's basically face down, dead. Is there anybody alive? There's somebody. Uh, let's see. Um, roll a D100. So, not a lot. So, do a D3. It's you, Grimmo. You got to do a D3. Okay, one so person. only one. Only one. So... You know what it hard? Do another, do a D2. Like we want to see on, what type you of know enemy what you... it, or what type of person it is. I was going to say, you know what would hit hard? If it was like one of the Aborigines leaders I was supposed to kill. Yeah, D2. If he was like... <laughs> well, you're giving me ammo now. So. Yeah, I want to see that. I want to see that drum. Yeah, so <laughs> it is an aborigine. So D100 is. Do you recognize it as someone that you were contracted to kill? No. So it's just an aborigine. So he's like, in short, he's surrounded by a field of dead. It's one man just kind of sitting. Hands in hands in fair hands in uh hands on his face just rocking back and forth in a field of dead bodies. Okay, so Grimmall just immediately jumps off and walks towards all that. Yeah. Okay, so... So what do you do? I mean, you approach this... You both approach this man who's, like, rocking back and forth. He, he might have lost his mind. Hey. You are right. So uh, he's right. not even paying attention. Like he's still rocking back and forth. I slowly approach. Okay. So and so nothing. Just I don't think he's even noticing there's anything happening around him. I tap him on the shoulder. One hundred. Does that work? 
So, yeah, so he looks up. Does he speak your language? He does. It's like... What happened? No, um... No, he doesn't no, say saying, that. Just, uh, I'm saying what happened. Okay, so... So his, his English... His, you can understand it, but it's kind of broken. It's like... Uh, all people, dead. They come. They come from ruins. So, all dead. And he's like, he's tearing up, and you can see that he's just, he's a broken man. Just, you know, all the people he knew are dead. I kind of grab, right, grab, grab him on the shoulder, and I'm like, stand up, man. Stand up. Like, uh, and so he's looking at you, he's like, what point? They come back, they return, they kill us. They're, what point Who? live? Who? Who did this? Right? It's like, Demons. Dark things. Spirits of forest. Said, come from ruins. Came. Kill all. Ruins? They're just, gonna, they're just gonna sit here and wait, then. I was like, what use fight? We fight. We all die. What use fight? <sighs> What's use What's fight? Use... It's because if you don't fight, then it makes it easier for them. If you fight, you always have a chance. Maybe this time it didn't work. Maybe the next time it didn't work. Maybe you lose some people. But if you do, like keep, a, if you, if you, so he's you he's like fighting, a broken man. It's like he's he's not believing you. It's like uh, so he's you know he's not believing you. I mean, he just saw everyone he he knew get murdered. So he's not believing a word. I I just say get up. So. Uh, so yeah, it's like for, you basically command him to get up, and he gets up. Okay, so now what? Got him up. Let's take Come him. Take him. Take him back. Okay. So yeah, just uh, you're just leading him back to the caravan. So he's yeah. almost like a lost dog. I mean, like he's got you know, there's nothing left for him. Just everything <clears> to do is gone. Where's the um, where's that kid's corp corpse mm -hmm. that you talked about? The kid's corpse that you talked Roll about a D3. before. Roll three. Three. Let me draw it. Yeah, there's right you draw? here. Draw. Okay. So yeah, so that's when you know they like you notice that um, you know, he's fa he's pretty much face down and uh, he's face down dead. Definitely dead, because uh, he's missing an arm plus his back. It looks like he has multiple stab wounds. Stab wounds. Huh. You recognize the wounds? No, I don't. No. So you don't recognize what type of blade it was or what did it? I think you're more absorbed pull, in the horror pull out of the, you know, uh... who would do this. I pull out the butcher's knife that the um, cannibals held, and I try to match it. Look at, like how th how thick it is and stuff. Does it match? It does match. So if you wanted to put two and two together, we might have unwittedly driven the cannibals here. We? Yeah, from us defeating them and them running away and us not killing them all, they might have been driven this way. That's just a supposition, though. We don't know if that's the case. All we know is that, you know, they would have come here sooner or later. Well, at least if they had... If we had killed them all, it would have at least... This kid would have at least been alive for the yeah. next few days. Until we finally... So it's maybe like, if we, uh... So Whereat comes up and it's like, uh... We, no time to deliberate. We must move. If enemy here, they may still be moving. We cannot wait. You're right. I put the knife back and I just. Let's hope. Yeah, well, well, let's see how far we can get in 15 minutes. Because if it ends right here, we're gonna end on a cliffhanger, and I'd rather not. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not either. I'd rather not end on That's a cliffhanger. We're going so we gotta do our best to move. All right. So, so immediately you just you remount up, and it's the convoy keeps moving. So now we gotta go back to the west. To the west. We go yeah. back. <laughs> Annabelle was that. pretty much um, tending to the aboriginal guy, asking if he needs anything. Okay. 
Oh, it's um. A little bit. So too he's high, he's still that's... shaking. I mean, just he's like, he is a broken man. He has no, he doesn't know what this life is going to offer, and he's just got his head in his hand is in his his head in his hands, and he's just he doesn't know what to do. I mean, he's he is a broken man. That's so, 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 yeah, yeah, so, 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 Everybody's everybody's been through a hell. I can't so, tell you that uh, this feeling will pass. So you our guys are going to travel. To the west. Yep. And what? Let's see. Do a D100. Go west, my son. Go west and grow up with the country. Okay. So, <laughs> so we're gonna do a summation. This is gonna get interesting. A what? Divided by three. So a third of the way is when you start seeing the smoke. Oh no. Oh yeah. shit. So it's um. Who sees the smoke actually? That's I don't know. Let's so roll it. See who actually sees all that. That's Annabelle. Okay, so Annabelle sees smoke in the distance, and you, you're pretty sure it's coming from it's coming from the village. Do you tell us? Yes, I say smoke. We need to move faster now. Okay, so what's the orc opinion? Yeah, he's just like double time orcs. <laughs> And so you just you you basically pick up the pace as fast as you can go. Squirtle yeah. gallop. So it's like and he just uh, he basically takes off. So the army moves all the way over here. I am hiding all the areas we're not using. <laughs> and so we gallop as fast as we can. Uh, D100, do you guys notice any evidence of fighting along the way? Well, I'm not paying attention. So. Okay, so Sans, you're, you've been not paying attention the whole battle. You've just been along for the ride, making where? sure also is fine. Yeah, what about where at? Okay, where at? I see clear. The no, we, we don't see any signs of fighting along the way, so there's some hope there. It might just be regular smoke, so let's go. Okay, so. So now we move to a place we haven't been in a long time. <laughs> so finally, it came. We're finally home. After God knows how long. Let's see if the home is intact, though. Okay, so copy I'm going to need... Us. Copy and paste us there. I'm definitely copy and pasting us there. It's going to bring us to the map. Delete any copies of yourselves you see. Probably up top. Keep... In flames. Buildings, mostly intact. Uh, soldiers, minimal casualties. Are, but there are casualties. So, so you know, from the center, there's a mass. This like there's a massive fire. It's raging, and it's just there's no. There doesn't seem to be a way to put it out. So, and you you see Pei and Anno looking at the keep. You see a bunch of guards attempting to put the fire out, but it looks futile. It looks like the What happened? Fire. Okay, so hold up, we gotta get in possession. Let me find all your clones Do while I... you destroy all your clones. Do I know this? this? That's maybe I don't know, it's your you're, you're no. No. so you're you're focused like you're laser focused on that. Town is in flames. so the keep is in flames, but you notice everything else is intact. Yeah, I just run uh, up to Anna and Troy say, turns casualties. around and he's like taken by surprise. It's like you're back and you're you're back with a lot of who are these people? Who's elves and Ca what? Can't, what? Can't they use that Refugee refugees. No time to explain what the hell happened. It's like well, you better start explaining. You explain and then I'll explain. <laughs> there's an army. Like there's an army. Sense. Marching on these, there's an army marching on these lands, and it's killing it's like, everything. It's like he smiled. It's like, yeah, we've met. <laughs> they didn't, and he's looking. Um, let's see, high number, low number, low number. So, ow, well, that sucks for those guys. Oh, for so them. It's like, yeah, he's... we've met, and he's like, he does it with a smile, but he's got like a grim smile. Where he's like, he points to, he points behind him, and you see like a bunch of bodies of soldiers. It's like, yeah. Oh. I, I immediately attempt to stop resurrecting them. D100. D100 again. See how many you can Blood save. for the blood so, god. So, 60%. So, 
about so you can save six. So you get to choose the six. They are three female and seven male. One of them is the guard sergeant. So, so he's among the casualty list. Hmm. I guess Just, I do uh, all the females, the guard sergeant, and two of the males. So two males, guard sergeant. Wait, how many? What? <laughs> and one more female. Okay, so all the females and the three will have to remain dead. Do a D100, does it cost you? Because you're already wounded, so you're you're stretching your magic beyond its limits. No, you're fine. That's, um... That's, uh... And then he's got, like, a wide grin. It's like, you know, I never thought I'd see you guys again, and I never thought I'd see these miracles ever again. <laughs> but I, I guess I was wrong. Sorry for doubting. Bounce the user puts the fire out. Hmm? Uh... Naisa's got water magic. Can she? Of course she can, so... Like, she's calmly stepping forward. Then you see her do a hand motion with her left hand, and you see... Remember that water pool over there? Yeah. You see the whole thing rising like a tentacle out. <laughs> oh, wow. So, is it... D100, is it blocking out the sun? <laughs> Course really it is. Is. So it's large enough to block the light of the sun. So and, and then just she just like it. a finger, she presses it against the fire, and then she just removes it as fast as possible. And all the right. fire, now all there is is black smoke rising. All right. Well, at least we got that and going. And she is horribly exhausted from that. So Dogma has to prop her up because she, you now that took a lot of magic to do. To do it safely, also, so that it didn't kill anyone. Mm. So they're probably going to go back to the end. They're not going to stick around. <laughs> That's the jail. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving them, I'm moving them. Okay, so you guys are immediately like, Sane's just beeline straight for the end. <laughs> so Indeed Estrio, I did. Estrio's like, he's ecstatic to see you guys. It's like, you got, you're alive, and you're back. What, what happened? But Sane's, did you even talk to him, or did you just walk by? I'm a little too focused on those. Okay, so it's like, hey, where are you wait, going? Um, wait, wait, oh, wait, okay. Wait, I, I, I guess you guys want to rest. Okay, nope. bye. And then he's well, just going back to what he was doing. I didn't even hear it, so. Yeah, so. <laughs> well, we just came back from hell, so. Okay. Yeah. And it's like, play, okay, well, thank you for that, but, you know, explain. Who, who are all these people? That's when the, the right control right leader right. and the leader of the elves decides to come forward. It's like, uh, I we'll room. do the, it's like, we'll, we'll help with the explaining. These adventurers need rest. So, it's like, um, uh, so, you know, are you guys going to stick around and hear what they're talking about, or are you going to go seek rest? Yeah, I'm going to stay. Okay, you're going to stay, Grimmall. So. I'm going to stay, because I got three heads. That Seven's I going straight, in. like, he was laser focused on whatever he was focused on, so, when he comes back, he's going to have a project, uh, in mind. <laughs> So that's what he's been mm. focused Like, the whole war thing and everything that's been going on, he's been ignoring. He's got his own agenda. <laughs> Just like Proxy. Just like Proxy. The Proxy effect continues. Yep. Okay, so you guys are going to... So he's like, uh, you know, thanks, but we'll stick around for what needs to be... Uh, to happen. Uh, Rick? Yeah. Could I do my things first? Because I couldn't even, like, a few... Right, so uh, yeah, what's, uh, not what's your that things? long. Four one has also cleared up a little. D one hundred. Is she is she sentient enough to no. She's gonna need like a day or so to get back to normal. Because I mean you just oh. you've been through hell and back. I just lay down on them. I just lay her down on my bed. Okay. Can can she talk? D one hundred. Can she talk? Well, she can. She can talk, but I mean, is she talking? Okay, so that's a no. She can no, talk, I'm... but she isn't talking. No, I'm, I'm going to ask her then at that point. Do you want me to lay next to you? It's like, uh, she shakes her head now. Just, um... So there you go, see, she just said no. Uh, Alright. I'm just going to go downstairs to... I'm just gonna say it like, then, well, 
I'm gonna go downstairs to Estrio to talk a little. Okay, so. Okay, so Estrio was like, "Oh, you're you're back from okay. Um, so uh, how are you? We've seen some interesting things around here. <laughs> Not great. Okay, so, so he gets all serious. It's like I take it something's wrong with Elsa then." Yes and no. So it's like it's like I have just the thing, and he just reaches under his bar, and roll a d, the roll a two d three. Color is so it's blue. It's a blue liquid. He pulls out a bottle with blue liquid in it. It's like this is some. Uh, does he? It's like you know I don't quite remember what I concocted. Have, and then he kind of laughs. It's like, how many times did I hear that from Barkeep, huh? <laughs> He's trying to crack a joke. All right, Sainz, are you? Do you find that amusing, or? For when I'm really tired, and second of all, I'm kind of concerned about Oso. Okay, so, so it's like, no, oh, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I guess I'm keeping you. This, uh, this may help her. This may not. It's really just hyped up water, but there's not much I can. I mean. <sighs> You get what little comforts you can, right? Uh, I can try, but I fear it won't work. Just uh, go easy on it, because uh, people can get a little strange when they drink too much of this, okay? <laughs> she hasn't been acting the same as she did when we first met, so... And it's like, oh, that's a surprise. Never, never thought she would have her spirit so uh, shaken. Just because of what we, what I've discovered lately. So and he like taps you. It's like, ah, shake it, not stirred, right? <laughs> <sighs> oh, and then it's like, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, uh, I'll stop doing that now. Because I guess he's trying no. to crack a joke and see if you laugh, but you're not laughing, so. No, I, I just have a really grim expression on my face, but well, I still have my no, I. My helmet off. Okay. Oh my. What? My parents. Okay. I time have to go. quit in like a few minutes, but well. <laughs> no time. All right, time to go. No. Then I walk up to Oso and just give her the bottle. Okay. Late. No, actually, I'm gonna pour a cup and then give her the bottle. Accept it. Okay, late. Break. Mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna pour a cup, give it to Oso. Okay. Um, she, like, takes it, like, she she can't use her hands, I mean, like. Oh, yeah. She doesn't but, have hands. I mean, I put it to her lips and. Okay. She, like, splutters it. Just a... <laughs> Is she better? She like, she like looks at you. It's like, Jesus, what is that? I don't know. That sure gave it to me. Well, I'm gonna let you rest for the night, and I just sit down in the chair. Okay. And she like grabs you. Like, let's see. Is she using all of her strength? Yeah. Like, pierce the skin. Yeah. So she's grabbing you so much that you're, it's, you know, the same thing. And she says, stay with me. All right. Okay. So, and then she just, like, she's, like, you're, you're being held in front of her. And she's like, I think, is there an expression of peace? No. So she's kind of like that, kind of a glum expression, but a little bit happier than she was. But I mean, you can't move, and also she's uh, apparently. Let's hope the the talents don't freeze into your back, because <laughs> that would suck. Oh, I take a step forward. Okay, you can't take a step forward or anywhere. You're, she grabbed you, and now you're like you're lying down. Oh. So you can move, and you're still in your full armor, so you can't go anywhere. <laughs> can I move my arm around her? Uh, D100. 
So can you get the armor off? You can, but no. it would be dangerous. My arm. Oh, your arm? arm? Yeah, you can move your arm. So. My arm around her. Okay, yeah, you like, think so. Comfort her. Yeah. What I meant. But, well, I'm gonna go now, so. Okay. See you guys Wait. later. Later, Sterling. Later, Sterling. Yeah. Later guys. Okay. User yeah. disconnected yeah, so from your channel. So Alright, so that's saying. Um. So Annabelle, you're gonna you so you two are gonna listen in on. Uh, yeah, I got them, I got three heads to cash in. Okay, yeah, true. All. So you have a bounty to cash in. Annabelle also has the wait. It's really Annabelle has a Annabelle. Did you, you, technically, you completed the job because you, you know, are we really gonna go with the smart ass answer? I brought the head of the leader. It's just still attached to his body. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think Annabelle's expecting payment at the moment. If right. she does get payment, then that well, it was the elves, well, and the elves said, you know, they they had they needed the money themselves. But maybe they're willing to part with it now that they have shelter. Who knows? So anyway, so explanations are they quick. Yeah, so he's it's like you know I'm gonna be quick. It's you know these are I'm from the orc tribes in the in the forest of the ancient. This is an elf who also lived there. So, you know, the the chieftain's doing all the talking. So, this is an elf who lived there. Both our towns were destroyed by undead. So, we need a place to stay. Troik's opinion. Of course, you know, Troik being the humanitarian it is, is just, uh, or being the, the person he is, it's like, of course, just, well, we'll make room. Please tell me I don't about... have to go back to housing manager. That is a yes. <laughs> because we have no other. I collapse uh, on my no. knees. So you just got a whole bunch of more bunch. business. <laughs> so, so it's like, uh, so Troy, Troy gives you like a grin, like a like that shit face grin of, <laughs> I know what shit you got to go through, but you know I'm gonna ask this anyway. That's so like, so Annabelle, now that you're back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, we need our housing manager back, so I think you have more, I think you have, and he's like brushing it over all the people that are there. I think you have more customers now. I kind of, I assume you're going to fall now, or something. Yeah, I, I just fall to my knees. Okay. I kind of so, cat. Well, I oh, get don't paid. be so sad, it's not that bad. I mean, at least you're not trying to get killed. I might prefer that. It's like, well, uh, like it or not, I still need you to do it, so, oh well. So I'd like to say he's back to, he's, le he's leaving you to your plight and he's coming back, it's like, right. Well, introductions, I guess, welcome to, uh, wherever this place is. <laughs> no, it's like, this village doesn't even have a name. <laughs> so this like, is home. Uh, so it's like, well, what would you call it? So it's like Troik and the, the troll chief are having a conversation about, you know, this village doesn't even have a name. Why don't you name it? <laughs> hey, so... Troik. And I pull up. Oh, like, and hey, they, are, they all look at you guys. Oh. Like, Wait, they look at do Annabelle we have to name it? It's like, hey, Annabelle, you own the housing, right? So what would you name what it? What would you name it? I... <laughs> I'm too busy having a crisis. It's like, ah, oh, fair yes. enough. We'll just hold this for some other time. Probably tomorrow. Hey, Troik. And I pull up the heads. Okay. Pull out the three heads, and I'm like, I, like, oh, I have a... Oh, I see you did the job. That's like, yes, well, we'll dispense payment as soon as we can. Let's see, does he have it on him? No. So, but you, you are going to get guaranteed payment, so... We're just going to skip over that and go straight for the payment, which was, what was the payment? A thousand. A thousand? And two hundred, plus two hundred. Do a D100, one hundred. see if he actually believes that you did stealthily. No, so he doesn't. So that's, um, but like, like, judging from I the size of the heads plus can the I wounds. Try and re can I try and reason it, like... With all the infighting, they probably believe it's the undead and not us or anything. Okay, so it's like, but it, it's really, um... Well, to be honest, I only put that bonus on there to make sure that people would take the job. I mean, bonus attracts bonus more customers, attracts right? I, I uh, turn to Grim Mole and, like, say, cough, cough, and put my hand out. Really? 
Yeah, she's asking for her cut, remember? It was a cut for just for between me and seven. Seven gets fifty yeah. percent. Yeah, only seven, so. Yeah. No, we we expanded that to the rest of us. All right, so I'll give you I'll give you twenty two fifty. All right, mm -hmm. I'll give you two fifty. So he'll give you a fourth. Well, yeah. seven's not doesn't care about the money anymore. I mean, like actually, let's roll it. Up, oh, nope. So seven's gonna get half. Seven's gonna get his half, which is the. Oh yeah, two fifty. So he only gets two fifty. So. 250, so some to Annabelle, and the rest you keep, because nobody else had a cut. Yep, so I'm now at 611. Yep. Or 615, actually, so 615. So <laughs> she kind of underhandedly gives, gets the money from you. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then it's like, there. Um, well, there you go. Okay, so... Do we roll for rewards? Because we kind of took... We, we did the goal Test for this complete, session, yeah. which was... Okay, All so right. that was a long one, so I'm going to... I forgot yeah, what half... You know what? I forgot what half of these values do, so I'm going to go look at it again. <laughs> All right. Um, we're, we're probably just going to get This is for... This game reward hates multiplier. Us. So what did you... That was an epic journey, right? That was like yeah. the longest possible? That's a three yeah, times like multiplier. Yeah, saved two entire yeah. villages. Yep, that's, a, that's three times multiplier. You did not get three times reward, sorry. Can we you got a free level up. Can though. we mulligan... Can no, we mulligan don't that? mulligan into that, because you got a free level. Okay, okay. Fine. fine. So that gave, that was an experience, so you can now use your... You now gained experience, so you have a new level. I can level up twice. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put in... And you get one item, so... Yeah, that's another thing. Okay. question so is... Now I'm level three. <laughs> I'm level three! I'm level three too I now. I feel so powerful. Not really, but. <laughs> well, I'm level I wish. three too as well. That'd be nice, but I'm not <laughs> because I suck. Well, well got that. So, so I'm gonna I'm add level... that to the list of. Uh... I'm gonna add that to the action report. It's uh, so each of you. So who didn't get a free level up? It's uh, so we got zero. We got. Dogma, we got so we're at Grandma Annabelle, and then Sains are the ones who get one. Got it. Yeah. One free level up and one item. No, one free level up, 200 favor, and one item. What's the what's what encompasses the items again? It was That's the under uh... the that is under features under questing. All right. The item reward is. Level up, uh, the item actually, uh, the items include an extra hundred favor, daily ration, another item, or uh, the item, and then level up. So you only got one, so you can get another free level up if you wish. That only get me two, but if if I do that, that gets me to level four, and then if I do, if I pay the five hundred, I'll get to level five. Pretty much. Yeah. Worth a shot. I mean, this actually, I'm gonna do that with where at. I think most people agree with getting the second level up. I mean. I need, the, <laughs> I need, I need more power. I need more I power. Need power. power. Could the item be like information or something? Yes. So now I am level seventy weapon skill, so I am some kind of badass. Yeah. <laughs> I have seventy. I do seventy-seven damage now. It's great. It's not great it's enough. Not really it's like I still have a problem with my weapon is one damage type, and that is impact. So if it's not heavy armored foe. I suck. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm gonna level up. Or wait, hold on. What? What kind of? What is there a limit on what kind of item we can have? That it has to be reasonable. Okay. So what, um, is, what sounds like reasonable? Hmm. I. I think maybe. You know what? Forget the items. I'll just get a level up instead. I've got enough stuff on me right now. Level up instead. Yeah. So that's another level up, and then I'll cash in that one. So that's that's level five, and now I get a skill point. Hell yeah! <laughs> okay. Hmm. Don't sound Don't amused. Sound amused. <laughs> I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't. Because I realized it's like you know we have a long way to go. This is gonna be a long ass road. <laughs> Of death and mayhem and psychological trauma. So, if I can get information, could I get like the name of the necromancer? No, nobody around here really knows. 
Unless you can find, Unless like, alright, so who would know? I mean, the only people I think who would know are the shamans. But even they, but might, well, not they know. might not know. Well, if he's really old, then I might have met him before. Okay. D100. Have you actually... Do you, are you starting to piece together? You are starting to piece together. Maybe this is someone linked to your past. Someone you've seen before and worked damn with. Damn it, Bob! <laughs> God damn it. So you have no, but I mean, you don't really have a recollection of, like, who. You're starting to piece together, it's like, you know, this seems familiar. But, and it's someone, it's someone relating to your past, but you're not quite sure. All around me, a familiar face. Veteran, up, veteran, veteran up. upgrades only happen every, veteran upgrades ten only levels. happen, like, every ten levels, yeah, okay. So I'm now level 80 ballistic skill, which I think is the maximum, right? Yeah, that right? is the max. So you're, you're a good so. gunfighter now. Plus, it gives Yay. you your highest possible damage ratio, which is 100. You get an extra 20 once you hit 80, so that it balances out to 100, plus any modifiers you have. The skill has varied. Higher skill allows deadlier and more accurate shots, so let's see. I'm going to do like 110 once I get to max like uh, weapon skill. And that's not including the weapon. How like, much? Once you get like your yeah. weapon, there's like a modifier. Yeah, my so, weapon. I have a question though. My weapon is 52. So how much does that change? How my weapon, my weapon, range weapon damage at the moment is 52. Originally 40, I think, but then it was increased by 10% from my range damage, 20% by my from my range from my armor, and no, then. Wait, wait, whoa! Hold on, rewind. So, originally, okay, so your armor was, gave it. Let me actually go look at it. My armor gave it 20 plus 20% range damage, and then I have a. Aptitude called Slayer, which gives me another 10% range so damage. It's 30%. So 30%. So that was what. So all you do is you take off the percentage off it, and then you add that to. Hold on, let me just go to you, Grimmo. Okay. Yes. Old Glory and Cross. So you do 30% more range damage. I do. Yeah. I. I we already. So put you in just those take. Values. It's 52, by the way. So. Yeah, it is 52. Divided but I'm by asking. 1.3. Because that's 30%. So it's, your standard damage is 40. And then you added how many points to ballistic? You're now 80, so you doubled it. So it's 80, so 80. So 80 times so. 1.3. And then that's 104 is your, your damage. So And okay. then your crossbow, your cross sling does 208. Because it does double your range damage. Actually, no, you're supposed to be at 100. So you do 110. Uh, you do 130. No, for, for cross sling. I'm already putting it in. So 130 oh, okay. for your damage and then 260 for your cross sling. Alright, awesome. So, yeah, we got our upgrades. Yeah. We got upgraded. So, we're gonna need them because the enemy is gonna is not gonna get easier. It's simply gonna get harder. Because it never gets easier. I never have enough easier. intelligence Nothing ever does. for uh, research. Yeah, at least now I can start upgrading other stuff like my agility. Yeah, Crossling is a bit of an act. interesting weapon because it requires you to have grenades. Yeah, and that was the Molotov grenades, Molotov grenades that we have. You have only so, so many have bullets. Like, <laughs> How many bullets are you down rough. to? You just you went through a, a like uh, two thirds of your clip. I have like eighteen rounds. I have eighteen. I have nine. I have nine blessed rounds in my clip and eighteen. Well, you have three rounds. blessed rounds in your clip because you use six of them. Oh yeah, three. So, three blessed rounds in my clip and eighteen on reserve with me in my bandolier. So I have like three. So I have two more clips of blessed you rounds. Of bullets, you'll and, be fine. Yeah. No, I need more, man. <laughs> Why? It's like... need... Just because every it doesn't no because bullets. like just because just because I have blessed rounds doesn't mean like the enemy is not gonna. Well, you need more diversity in your different. bullet rounds. Well, yeah, that's the idea. More diversity so I can combat more things. All right, so. So where, where we're at, Annabelle and Annabelle. Have you gotten over your mental breakdown yet, or are you still breaking down because of all the things you have to do now? Damn responsibility. Okay, so so she doesn't like responsibility. Um, use your favor and everything, because then comes the next yes, reward, the which is the... Uh, see, can we roll that again? No. So not task end again, it's just a standard reward. So... You were, so Estrio is the one who gave you the contact, so you gotta go visit him again. Okay. Alright, I got a question. Hmm. Did we ever... Did, 
So, Dayusa scouted those ruins way back before, right? Yeah, the ones with the undead to the east. Oh. To the east, alright. Is there any other ruins Wait, nearby? Wait, didn't that aboriginal say that it... Yeah, that they, they came, came from the ruins. From the and ruins. That's, yeah, you're starting yeah, to put two and two together, ruins. that's good. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, what if they came from those ruins that Dayusa searched them? What if the same so... skeletons that were in there that we scouted are the same ones that came out of the ground to kill all the aborigines? Yeah, exactly. Nope. Oh, times. Time. Yep. So you get the idea, yeah, everything is connected. No piece of information is ever omitted. It all just links back together in this horrible mass of subterfuge and destruction and death and mayhem. Well, the only question the only question is like why? Because You'll find out the why when you go there. <laughs> or when you do more research. Research or you go there yourself. So many questions, gonna... so little answers. You simply have to put yourselves in harm's way and you'll find the answers. Alright, I'm going to spend the ration because that was like a long trip. So, yep. right, we have to spend our rations. Unless they have housing or rations for us yeah. when we got back. They're going to give you free rations and friend housing for this time because, you know, you came back, you helped them in their time of need, you brought them... Although it seems like misfortune at first, it seems like, you know, you brought them a multitude of new races and warriors. A whole bunch of new skill, resources, because of what Squirtle was carrying. All those resources, you brought them back quite a bit, so they're just going to let you have the free food and drink. Why are you going there? Because that's... <laughs> We're still on it's Annabelle, like... so... So what, yeah. she's just going to find you in her office? <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, Annabelle. So you're talking with Estrio. It's like, oh, you're back, and oh, God, what happened to you? Um, so many things. Okay. And who is your, oh, I think I know who that is. I, I brought his head. Okay. And it's like, yes, uh, I take it he's, uh, oh. <laughs> and he walks up, it's like, ah, so you're the one who put the price on my head. It's like, well, it wasn't intentional. I mean, everybody makes mistakes, right? And the Orc Chieftain, he is not amused. It's oh, like, I thought... You do be... realize the amount of trouble you've caused, the civil war you incited, and all these other horrible things, right? Right. I, I place my staff on the shoulder of the uh, Orc. Okay. The troll? And it's like, he looks down at you, it's like, oh, all right... No revenge, then. So, like, he, he had his axes, like, you didn't even realize his axe were in his hand, and he puts them away. That's true. How about you shot him a free mail? It's like, yes, yeah, so, yes, of course. Uh, well, I mean, I'm free food and lodging all around, I mean, considering what they've been through, yes. It's like, uh, and he, like, sla he, like slaps the bar, and it's like, uh, got anything to drink? It's like, uh, and he just, Estriel just breaks out in a grin. It's like, of course. <laughs> you know who you're talking to? <laughs> what you What's his like answer? His answer's answer like, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> and then he just, he breaks into a wider grin. It's like, why I'm Estriel. I'm the best cook and bartender this side of hospitality. Watch, let me show you what I mean. So, and like... He just, he goes back into the cellar really fast, and he comes back. Oh, he repaired the cellar, yeah. I see. And he, he's got, like, he breaks out what looks like a green liquid. And he puts it on the table. And, uh, Annabelle, D100, do you see what's on the label? Um, so, um, <laughs> the orc cat, the orc... Immediately, he's taken by surprise. It's like, where did you get this? And he's got a wide grin. It's like, oh, I knew you'd like that. This is the this is Orc Grog. Some of the strongest oh. I've seen. This stuff. I've Orc held this in Grog. reserve for a while, just finding the right customer. You happen to be it. <laughs> wow. It's like, definitely bring your friends here. I don't think you'll be able to handle it yourself. Oh, is that a challenge? Okay. And it's like, uh, that's what that's what the chieftain said. It's like, is that a challenge? And then he just grins back. It's like, it can be if you want it to be. <laughs> and so the chief is like, he was in a good mood. Now he's like in a better mood. 
It's like, ah, I'll take that bet. <laughs> to the victor goes the spoils. And so he's yeah, like, so he's like walking out to go gather all the orcs. To, they're basically going to gather up and do a massive drinking contest of every orc in the, that they have. You started something. Something yeah. that I don't know you could stop. <laughs> it's like, well, that is the point. I mean, I have plenty of that stuff. And I need to get rid of it because I can't seem to get rid of it. You don't find many orcs around here. <laughs> what happens when you run out? Do, 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 do. Oh, I can get more. I mean, there's a, it's like, look who you're talking to. I can make some more. I know the process. Well, if you're confident. Okay. It's like, of course I am. <laughs> Look who you're talking to. So, yeah. Completed the contract. <laughs> so. So. It's like, uh, all right. I guess technically you did finish the contract. So. And then he just, uh. A thousand favor he each. pulls out the coin purse and it's big. It's like he has to use both hands to hold it. And he just drops it on the table. Like, eh, there you go. I obviously distribute it. Okay. So, so, so you start divvying it out. And just like, ah, don't do that on my table. Take it to that one over there. Not on the bar stand. I have customers, you know. I do now, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, back Don't to work. Like, so he like the door just bursts open. It's like, hey, barkeep, I'm here to take that bet. And it's like every orc is so it's gonna get loud in there. Oh, it's like, ah. okay, I'm just gonna go now. Can you even D100? Can you? Is there enough room for you to actually make it out of the door? No. So you're gonna have to like barge your way. You have to barge your way out. Do another D100. Can you barge your way out? So, do another D100. Is it respectful, or is it like... Okay, so... That's, uh, it's because they know who you are, so they're... they're you don't have to barge your way out, because they're simply clearing the way for you. Despite them being loud and ruckus, they know who you are, and they simply part where you are. Thank you. So you just walk out. So there's so many orcs in there that you, it's like some of them have to even drink outside. There's just so many people now. So they are allowed, like the pack master and uh, the the pack leader and the the orc chieftain are at the table and they're like taking shots of this green liquid. <laughs> and you hear it for as you're leaving, you hear like belching and laughter and just ruckus cry and everything. Well. At least we can enjoy some merriment for a while. So, so Annabelle, you come back to your office, and Grimmall's in there, leaning against, leaning the, against the wall. The wall. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is this the same thing? It's, you're asking for payment. <laughs> yeah, it's like this smug fit. Like behind his helmet, this he's is like gonna look this... weird. Just ignore it. So it'll it'll go over your bar. <laughs> he's having like the <laughs> smuggest face ever. He's like, so. Get payment? Well, Annabelle can't actually see your face. So. Yeah, I know. That. I know. He's but a, he's got like, like a, he's got a bearing of smugness. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like he's like nodding his head. It's like so. Well, if you want to help me count for the next two hours. Eh, yeah, counting's easy. Okay, so do one hundred. Does it take that amount of time, or does it take longer? So, uh, it takes, for Grimmall, it, so who's going to do it? Is Grimmall or is it going to be Annabelle? I don't think Annabelle trusts Grimmall. Will, Grimmall. Grimmall will take exactly let me two hours. You why, Annabelle's let me not tell you so why sure. Grimmall, let me tell you why Grimmall's better at accounting. Because he's been counting money yeah, for a very for like long most time. most of his life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so I can count out money pretty easily. Okay, like so do you trust Grimmall to count out the money, or do you, no. or do, you do it yourself? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think true. Annabelle will ever trust Grimmel. Okay, well, there you go. So you're going to have to do it yourself, then. All right, then. You can okay, so I'll, I'll roll be waiting. AD100. Let's see how long it actually takes you. A low number, a high number. Roll a D10, because you got unlucky. <laughs> oh, pff, so much for unlucky. Takes about an hour. <laughs> it takes you half the time, just because you're motivated to prove Grimmel wrong. 
<laughs> yeah. So it takes you about an you hour, you and got... then you finally got enough money. And what do you like? Do you just put it in a bag, or do you just say here? Yeah, I, I, I like have all of them in like little satchels. Okay, so you you toss them a bag, and it's like this is a number. It's a thousand favors. So this is a hefty bag. Like a thousand, right? Yeah. So. Did you minus your favor out of yourself already? Um. Yeah. So that was 115 because I already spent the uh, th uh, six oh, so five hundred. Not, so just I'll level up. And then I'll add the thousand. So there you go. Oh, there. You go. All right. So what's your response now that you got paid? You know, you gotta trust me more, pale mage. You you haven't shown any reason to. Be trusted. Hey, I could have. Could have tried to kill that or, or to kill that troll, take his head back for a reward, you know. But you didn't have the contract. Doesn't mean I couldn't have stolen that. it. Doesn't mean I couldn't have stolen it. Definitely could have. All right, you got me there. Ah, <sighs> you got a place for me to sleep in. You're gonna have to pay like everyone else. Brutal. How much? <laughs> he's like, he's like crossing his arms. Oh, really? How much? What What's the standard pricing? D100. You get to choose. So D100, you and then you roll. Let's see. Standard pricing is for your district is a D20. Since it's the high price, you can double it. So do you want to be generous or do you want to be not so generous? So D40 18. is the high price. D20 is if you're feeling generous. Uh, okay. You can still get lucky. I mean, it's still luck of the draw. <laughs> Not so lucky. So that's the price. 340 or 34? No, 34. Favor. Okay. I don't see how that's so much, you know? That, like, takes us. It, even... it adds up over time. I mean, like, if you keep spending a lot of. a little bit of favor here and there, and it's. Minorly large numbers, especially only since you have a thousand favor. Let me do a mathematical and I'll tell you exactly how much favor that is. So, hmm. I, so that's like. Oops, that's uh. It's times point. So that's like uh, three percent of your favor bar. Doesn't sound like a lot, but if you keep dropping 3% here, 3% there, then it adds up to 10%, and then more percentage, and it's just, yeah, it adds up. So. I don't but know still, you have up. money, so I mean, you, can, you can just drop that a, if you wanted to. Here's the thing, is that, if I, uh, I don't know if hanging out with the orcs is okay or not, because one day I might wake up and find that my money's gone, so. <laughs> Why would the orcs steal it? I mean, they're honorable, sir. Not the they're orcs. Not thieves. Uh, Obviously not. I mean, not the orcs. I don't mean the orcs steal it. I mean, I spend so no, so much time drinking with them that oh, I wake up. And that's just you spending that your real... money. That's your decision. Yeah. Well, you could try asking um, Troik. And remember what happened last time uh, where at hung out with the orcs? When was the last time? <laughs> what happened last oh, time? Oh, come on. I hanged out with Seriously, you don't orcs. remember? Two orc diplomats, him getting pissed on by one of them? Because he's so snockered, oh. and then him not having any, then the the second orc not having any pants on. Oh, when was that? I don't remember. <laughs> Probably when he weren't around. Well, that's uh, we, it was me and Seven. And that's when we were doing that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah the I diplomatic it. mission it where weird. I basically got where I got yeah. pissed on by a by a drunk orc. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Pretty... <laughs> Why do you think he's not going to the bar right now? Why do you think he stays away from bars? <laughs> Well, he stays away from bars from now on. So, where that's gonna go, tree right, form then. near the water. Now that he's, uh, now that he has water, like a good source of water to drink again, it's like, yeah, this is. He's gonna relax while he can. Okay, so are you gonna drop the money? Or are you gonna not? Yeah, he's gonna drop. He's gonna throw her thirty, the thirty-four. Okay, so minus thirty-four to yourself. Add thirty-four to Annabelle. Okay, so. There you go. So, money exchange, now you have a place to... Now, here's the funny bits. You get to choose the quality. So, what type of... Oh. Are you putting them in a shanty, or are you putting them in a, a decent? Oh, wait, she chooses what? Yeah, she chooses quality she chooses as well. 
So she could take so your I'm money and then she, then she chooses quality. So that's the horror. So he paid uh, the uh, highest yeah. price. Yeah, right? he paid a high price. So, but you could still be a dick and just put him in the the shanty. No, she, she's not that. No, much she's not that no, brutal. Not. All right, so you're not gonna get a shanty. You're gonna get something nice. All right, good. It's very smart, though. You'll have to furnish. B one hundred. Can you give him the nicest thing, though? That is a no. Okay, so because there is like you know, remember who used to be the Hano used to be the house manager, and he did not believe in embellishment. <laughs> so his the nice is like moderate. So it's comfortable living, but it's not like we're not gonna have gold plated sinks and statues and things like that. Hmm, that's fine. I'm gonna focus on the task at hand. All right, so now what? I'll take. I'll take. Yeah. So you so said you I could. That you're gonna give me the moderate one. So um. Yeah, it's pretty much the only one that I can give you if I don't want to be an ass. <laughs> All right. You totally can be. <laughs> All right. Well, we drop the money. I'm gonna be going to the. I'm gonna say thank you. Then I'm gonna just walk out and head to the one that's like right next to this office.